Hi everyone, it's Samara Googler again, and today we're going to be coloring another one of Lindsay Ostrom's card tricks. Let's go ahead and zoom in here for Lindsay's information. So you can find it right here. Go there, check it out. It's some really awesome stuff. All right, so the card that we are going to be coloring today is this one here, Thanks, with this adorable little trailer. I am going to be using Derwent Ink Tents colored pencils, and these are water soluble pencils that are actually ink. And once they dry, they become permanent. They're super cool, very, very vibrant. And I actually have mine in a um, case over here, so I'll be pulling from there. And real quick, they are available, I want to say, up to sets of 72 which of course I want. All right, so um, we have this adorable little scene. Um, I took a moment and just kind of um, looked at the scene. There are stars, a cute little trailer. So I'm guessing this would be maybe a night scene, so I'd like to color it as such. I'm going to go ahead and start with my stars first, and I'm going to be using um, two colors. I'm going to be using, this is Sun Yellow, and this is Sherbert Lemon. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom in here. So the way you use these ink tents um, pencils is you use them like a standard colored pencil. Let me just go ahead and give this a quick sharpen. Uh, um, again, you use it like it's a standard colored pencil, but then you use a um, you use water on top of it to um, to blend the color. So I'm just going to go ahead and color those stars. And I'm not coloring um, the entire image. I'm just kind of, um, I guess you would call spot coloring. Because then I'm going to take my water brush and um, I'd like to be able to tell you exactly what kind of water brushes these are, but I, I can't remember. I got three of them at Dick Blick store, art, um, art store, and I have three different nibs or brushes. There's a small brush, a medium, and a large brush. And as you can see, I use the medium one the most. The water is stored in the water chamber, um, which is separate here from the brush. Um, and you just squeeze lightly to release the water. So um, when I color with these, I'm kind of sloppy. Um, so I'm just Zoom out, zoom in here, I guess I should say. Um, so I'm not very careful, and I apologize, my son is, I don't know, doing something noisy. Okay, so just kind of coloring those in like so. And um, to clean my brush, I just wipe it off on, um, on a towel or just dip it into some clean some clean water. All right, next up is our little trailer. And I love blue, turquoise blue is probably my favorite color. So I'm going to use um, sea blue and iris blue. When I use these pencils, I just kind of um, color around 
the outside I'm not very neat at all and Okay, so again, my water brush. And I, um, it, it is hard for me to sometimes color out of the lines intentionally, but, um, do it because it really makes it look I don't know um it makes it look look really nice so I encourage you to do that the bottom of the trailer I'm going to color my favorite green this is apple green all right so I'm just going to color the bottom Okay, my water brush. And again, don't be afraid to go out of the lines. And I'm gonna color that stripe a different color, but I'm gonna let these two dry first. Um, for my, for the black tires, um, there is a black, but I'm not going to use it because I want to still see some of the, um, the tires here. So I'm going to use a charcoal gray. Again, not being super careful. And the windows... Let's use yellow inside of the window. And I should have cleaned that brush off before I did that. I know better. Um, and for the door, um, let's go for a cute little orange door. So sorry, that was my son pounding downstairs. This one doesn't have the color on it. I have no idea what color it is. Orange. Okay, so this is the orange. Sometimes I'll just take my brush and um, wipe it off on my hand. Oh, that's kind of a very bright orange. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and let that part dry. And um, I want to keep the inside here of the thanks um, blank, but I want to color the letters. So I'm going to do the, um, the H, um, the iris blue color that I used before. So just coloring the, um, the outside, the outline, and again, I should have cleaned that brush. And go out of the lines, we'll be all right. For the um, H, I'm going to use the green. I meant for the T. And I'm going to use that green for the A, for the N, and let's add just a little bit of color to that K. 
okay just on the um the outside like that all right cleaning off my brush And let's use that blue for the S. Okay, I really like this so far. Um, okay, we've got this little... Um, uh, the front of the trailer, the hitch. So I'm thinking we could perhaps use the um, that gray again. And let's use that gray for the little bumper back here. And for that little trailer hitch. Okay. And, oh, let's add a little tiny bit to the top of the trailer up here. Okay, get a little bit sloppy with the color. And um, I'm gonna do the wings on the little trailer. I'm gonna do those yellow. And then I'm thinking I'm going to cover those in glitter when I'm done. And let's go ahead and do the little propane tank at the front of the trailer. Let's do him yellow. And I finally remembered to clean off my brush. Just um, using the, the yellow that's on my paintbrush, I added that to the window of the door. And um, for the road, let's do... Um, some green and some black. So, but I'm going to use a different green. I'm going to use um, this is field green. So, let's go ahead and do that. Field green. And This is the charcoal gray. And you can see I'm not being real careful about this. So let's use the green first. Clean that off, and now the gray, and I'm not getting any water, so hold on. Here we go. do the sky up here. I have got two colors here. I have a, um, let's use deep indigo actually. Okay, so deep indigo. I'm gonna zoom out and for the deep indigo, I'm going to just kind of um, go around the outside of the image. So just the outside, and then I want to do um, around the outside of this um, I don't even know what you call that, um, 
frame. Okay, and that crunching that you keep hearing is my dog chewing on her bone, which she was given so that she would not bug me. All right, so just going around the, the outside. Something else that you can do is you can take your water brush directly to your pencil like this to get the color. All right, so I'm gonna start up here in the top. Oh, good choice. So starting up there in the top and um, dragging that color down into my image. And I'm just, um, I'm not being really careful to go around those, um, those stars. And again, for whatever reason, my brush is not staying wet. dipping it into um, my water container. And I'm just being really um, very sloppy in my coloring. This is not precise at all. And I'm going to take a little bit of color directly from the, uh, the pencil here. Um, this paper is not um, a watercolor paper, so you don't want to um, oversaturate the paper because um, it will buckle. But if that happens, what I suggest that you do is just um, you can uh, position it like um, under a book, a heavy book, um, and um, actually most people don't even notice it once it's adhered to your card. So I'm just taking some of the color directly from my pencil and adding it to um, in various places on the on the card. Okay, so there we go. The only thing I, I want to do, um, I'm gonna use the black. I like this just a little bit darker in here. And I might even take it directly from the, um, from the pencil. I made a giant puddle on my desk just now with the um, squeezing the water brush. All right, so there we have it. There is my um, my card. So um, again. Be sure to check out Lindsay Ostrom's um, card tricks. Here's the information. And be sure to check out my other tutorials. Um, 
I have one tutorial where um, I made this card. Whoops. Can't see it all zoomed in. Where I made this card. Um, using Prismacolor pencils. And then um, this one here. And um, be sure to check them out because they are super cute. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.